Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. I know some of you guys sent me a message. I don't know if, if it's somebody from the zone and stuff like that saying that I should stop rubbishing the zone. That I should give them time. Bro, the zone is crap, bro. They're criminals, you know, taking people's videos down. Taking people's basically content like is original content down or because I want to use a picture of a fight, not a fight footage. That to me is the lowest in my opinion. And it's that's funny because they're not the one putting up the, the scars and stuff like that. It's the Cecilist that, that did it. But it's one of those things you just look at and say, wow, it's crazy how how happy i was when this one came into the scene and supported them and stuff like that i'm already going to can cancel my subscription from this one i'm telling you right now no more this one for me bro it's finished it's what it is man i wish them luck but you cannot be targeting uh boxing uh, uh content creators boxing analysts that doesn't uh, that have a different um that have different opinion and stuff like that but yeah, it's one of those things, man. Now, let's go straight to the, to the point right here. Let's talk about Malik Scott, the current trainer of Deontay Wilder. Malik Scott. Malik Scott. Malik Scott, as a boxer, was average at best. He's got a very good boxing brain. Um, No doubt about that. He's got a good it's got a very good boxing brain but it is one thing to have a good boxing brain is another to be a good trainer i think Iman wilder are not are not a match because he's like one of wilder's best friends and you know when you work with a best friend like that sometimes it could things could you know could blossom or things could go very bad Proud to Mali Scott taking charge. Wilder still at least had that fire in him. Wilder wasn't scared to throw a punch. Wilder always, always threw a jab. If you think I'm lying, go watch the Bermuda Steven first fight. Wilder controlled that fire with a jab. And his jab was very sharp. I remember when Lennox Lewis was teaching Wilder how to throw a proper jab. Wilder was at least learning. And try to improve on his skill set. Despite him not being highly skilled. We know Wilder's basically weapon. We know that's the right hand. But Wilder in the past used to set that right hand up well. And now he doesn't even do that anymore. He doesn't know how to do that. He doesn't even know how to throw a proper jab. Because Miley Scott turned Deontay Wilder into himself into what he was as a boxer. Mali Scott as a boxer was average. He even got stopped by Wilder and died. So, even Deontay Wilder's father right now is saying that Wilder can come back, but he's, he wants Wilder to get rid of Mali Scott. Deontay Wilder's father urges son to part ways with Mali Scott in short retirement take after Zilin Zhang Keo. Let's read the story right here. Mali, uh, did what our father said, did what our father, uh, father said. You need somebody you're going to respect, he told USA uh, the Sports. You don't need a body to, to train you. It's not too late for water. I believe he got several good years left. Deontay Water has always been a slugger. Now, Mali is trying to train him to be a boxer. And if you look at it, you will see that Deontay is not comfortable with it yet. As long as he tries to be a boxer, he's not going to win. That's the bottom line. Wow. Even his mother also sent him a, a message and said, Wallace well, should retire. I'll tell you something right now. I don't think Wallace should retire, bro. Wilder can still beat the 99% of everyways today. I think what Wilder needs is 
a, a couple of warm-up fights to build up his his fire the that flame that is lost because we can see that he's lost that flame and when you lose that flame it is hard to get it back but you can get it back by rebuilding yourself basically going for a rebirth Malice Scott did he betray Wada? Some people are saying he betrayed Wada because after Wada got knocked out, Wada was still concussed. Malice Scott immediately went to congratulate uh, uh, Jilei Jiang instead of looking at his, as a, at his fighter. That's, the, that's, that, that's what people are saying right now. And I did watch the clip. It was very unusual for, for a trainer to quickly go to the op uh, opposition side to congratulate the opposition while your fighter is basically concussed the water was concussed when Ward, as soon as John Jolie clipped water with that left uh, with that right hook it was a counter right hook water tried to throw the the, the right hand he was throwing the right hand he, he landed before but he tried to do that again and John Jolie just he just timed you into water like oh this guy's gonna do that now let me clip him with my right hook and John's right hook is also dead, very dangerous it's one of the hardest you know punch in division so then water didn't know where it was basically i mean complete the referee you know, something like that and then john just took over bro like you, you have to protect yourself at all times Mali scott went from being an amateur punch star to training the until water how do you how do you improve a guy like that and also he the thing is that i want to show the fight so bad of Mali scott to compare but because of this on BS, I'm not gonna show anything. Go, this on is is is, is 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 trash right now, bro. They've been targeting channels that speak the truth, channels that don't align with their views and stuff like that. That's why they took two of my videos down and stuff like that. And it's very interesting. But we must keep speaking facts. We must. But I just I'm gonna subscribe from this bro. Um, yeah, it is quite funny that Mali Scott went from being an amateur poster to printing the water. Mali Scott is a good friend to the water, no doubt. Water has his own problem as a fighter, but we've never seen the water this bad. Water has never been the best of boxer, no doubt about it. But we've never seen him this bad to the point where the guy can't even throw a proper jab and immediately we immediately the fight started water went on his back foot that was very unusual for me usually water is a guy that set up the right hand very well you know he set up the right hand with jabs he tees you with it and stuff like that he's not the most active but he is very very intentional you know and his, his his movement is like he didn't have the best he don't know he doesn't have a the best of footwork or stuff like that but he does know how to use it to set up the right hand how can john Jale be 41 years old and still be that dangerous and you're saying what i said 30 years old is, is like is um he should retire i think what one needs to do like you know what the father said is fire Mali Scott as a trainer get you a proper trainer and the trainer that would in fact go back to Mark Brillen if possible not a trainer that would change you but a trainer that would work on your advantages knowing how to set the right hand and going for the kill when need be while I try to take his time against Janjali the, uh, the plan was to tie Janjali out but you can get Jandley tired if you are like cycling around the ring and be on your back foot and you're not active enough. John, you have to make Jandley work. Jandley is a guy that you make him work, he gets tired. But if he doesn't if you don't make him work, he doesn't get tired. Jante Water fought at Jandley's pace. Slow, don't throw one punch a while and stuff like that so 
It's kind of crazy though if you look at it. It's just interesting to see how much Walder, you know, um, has decreased ever since he joined um, the camp of Miley Scott. I'm not saying Miley Scott is a bad trainer. He's got a very good boxing brain. But if I have a fighter, I wouldn't take him to Miley Scott. Because I know Miley Scott would teach him the boxing, you know, basics and stuff like that. But the fighter would lose what really makes them them. What made what made Wilder, Deontay Wilder, was his ferociousness, the taste of blood, and the taste to die, the taste to like he threw punches, he got hit. Wilder against Dwappers. Go watch that fight. Wilder's face was fucked up but he still won that fight by knockout why because he kept the basic the what he knows he kept it in his arsenal the jab was very effective he didn't throw the right hands anyhow so water can still beat 99 percent of the everywhere today it's facts the only one person he cannot beat are the ones that are at the upper echelon jang in my opinion is not a is not a joke jang is a dangerous fighter for anyone for joshua for fury for usi jang is very dangerous for the first five rounds when you make him work when you make him work but if you don't make him work then he will have the advantage because he won't get tired jang gaston is shite we know that for the first five rounds you have to be careful you have to make him work also land your own to gain his respect water landed at right hand or oh, it's not with the same you know killer is thing that he always land, landed in the past it's just one of those things that happens to fighters so i don't think water has become this millionaire that can't get up to train and stuff like that i just think Mali scott He's not getting it. He's, he's taking water. He's turning water into himself. But Scott was an okay boxer. A boxer that got knocked out a couple of times. Did the same thing. I saw the video of water doing the same movement Mali Scott did when Mali Scott fought him. I'm like, damn. As he got into this. Water needs to water needs a rebirth. Like his dad said, he needs to leave Malice Court. They are still they can be friends. They are still friends. Friendship can stay forever. But as trainer, body stuff, it doesn't work, man. So I know what I said he would retire. Um if he loses to Jang, but yeah. I don't think he will. He's yet to come out to say he's gonna retire. Water, there is still, he's still got some few years left in him, and uh, he has to go back. Maybe do what Joshua did. Go to a dark room, a dark, dark room. Just you and yourself, nobody, no light, and do a rebirth, like Joshua did. I think Water will come back. Maybe not at the top top yet. I would love I've lo I would love to see Water fight at the Bridgeweight division. The champion is there, like WBA is vacant. I think the bell is vacant. Okoli has WBC. Imagine a fight between Okoli and the Water. That would be epic. But before all that, Water needs to get some tune ups. Fight, you know, to build up his confidence again. And know how to set that right hand again. You know. Because it seems like Wada lost. His way of setting the right hand. It's not the same what I would know in the past. People get old. People become a little bit. You know. Yeah. Too confident in themselves. But you can just tell from Wada's uh, facial expression. And his body language. That is not the same fight. There's still that water there. But someone has to bring it out. 
And Mali Scott, sadly, sad to say, it's not a guy to do so. Cheers. Okay, so.